Question number two on page 442 says, uh, identify the appropriate base rational function, 1 over x or 1 over x squared, then use the transformations to sketch the graph of the following. So first of all, for a and b, these the base function is going to be the 1 over x function, the one I've done here in blue. And when we take a look at a, we have a horizontal shift of negative 2. So what that's going to mean is, we're going to end up with the base function being shifted negative 2. So our vertical asymptote gets shifted to negative 2. And then we end up with the same function now, just drawn all the points shifted over negative 2. For 1 over x minus 3, or b, we can see that it's been shifted to the right 3. And so we can take a look at that function as the shift of the original blue function over to the right 3, so the vertical asymptote shifts, and then we have the same graph, and all the points are just shifted over plus 3. For C and D, the base function is going to be the 1 over x squared function, or the one I've shown here in green. So for C, that's a positive 1 shift, so it's shifted one to the right so our vertical asymptote shifts one to the right everything else remains the same so we still have a horizontal asymptote at zero so both graphs have a horizontal asymptote as long zero for d we have a horizontal shift of plus four so we end up with oops, so i think i'm making a mistake here so for C, the horizontal shift was minus 1. So I'll just shift it over here. It's going to be somewhere around there. Drawing the green back again. That's my root function. And then the transform function shifts negative 1. For D, the transform function shifts positive 4, so we it can end up with our vertical asymptote shifted here. And again, the horizontal asymptote doesn't change, so we're going to have the same function, that root function shifted to the right 4.